Hi, we're here at the San Diego Zoo's Galapagos Tortoise Exhibit. Uh, we have a herd of 17 tortoises, including 10 males and 7 females. Okay, so this is our youngest Galapagos tortoise. She's 10 years old. She hatched here at the San Diego Zoo. If you notice on, on the front of her legs, she's got these, these big enlarged scales. They're kind of kind of sharp and spiky. They protect her face when she pulls into her shell. It'll, it'll actually protect her soft, the soft skin on her neck and her face. And also the edges of, of the, the marginal scoots on her shell are scalloped, and that's for protection. As adults, these wear down and become flat, as do the, the scalation on her legs. When she becomes an adult, she doesn't have to worry about predators anymore. There, there are no natural predators for Galapagos tortoises, other than when they're babies. This is Speed. He is our oldest male Galapagos tortoise in the herd, as well as the oldest animal in the entire zoo. Speed came here in 1935 and he was already well into adulthood when he came to our zoo. Um, he was already about 500 pounds then, which makes him well over 100 years old now. Um, Speedy is our largest tortoise. He weighs in at about 617 pounds. Um, he's actually very shy. You can see he's kind of tucked into his shell right now. He's got a very submissive personality despite his size. So when you come to the San Diego Zoo and you visit the Galapagos tortoise exhibit, you can identify Speed here by looking at his number. He's got a white number five on the back of his shell. The boys in the herd have white numbers on the back of their shell and the girls have red numbers on the back of their shell. That's one way you can tell them apart. So this is Winston. He's one of our male Galapagos tortoises. He's actually the second largest in our herd. This behavior that he's doing is actually something that they do in nature. It's called the finch response. And what it is, is a tortoise will stand up like this, extending their neck, and the Darwin finches that live in the Galapagos Islands land on their neck and they pick off ectoparasites. It's a symbiotic relationship that they have with these birds. The birds benefit from getting the parasites, the tortoises benefit from having the parasites removed. Winston is showing this behavior here because he's enjoying the neck rubs. It's actually a good enrichment for the tortoises. This is Augustus. He is our, our alpha male of the entire Galapagos herd. He's from Santiago Island. He has the longest neck and the longest legs of everybody here. So tortoises from Santiago Island, like Augustus, are characterized by, by having a, an elongated shell that comes up high over their neck. It's called a saddleback shell. And you can see these marginal scoots really lift up above his neck, so it allows him to, to really reach up high for, for forage. So this is Wallace. He's one of our, our male tortoises. Wallace is from the Santa Cruz Island. Tortoises from the Santa Cruz Island are characterized by having a very large, round, dome-shaped shell. The marginal scoots in the front don't lift up nearly as high as Augustus from Santiago Island. They come down lower, which means that he can't lift his head up as high to eat. In the wild, he would be foraging for grasses, cactus, and low-growing shrubs. Oliver and Isabel here are what we call an intermediate phase Galapagos tortoise. They're from the, the volcano Darwin off of southern Isabel Island. Now you'll notice their shells are not quite domed and they're not quite saddled a saddle shape. They're kind of an inter intermediate phase. They can forage for food on the ground and they can also reach up a little bit high for, for food as well. There are several differences between male and female tortoises that you, that you can notice. The first is the, the overall size. Oliver here is about twice as big as Isabel. The second way you can tell them apart is their, is their tails. Oliver has a tail that's about a foot long where Isabel has a tail that's only about three or four inches long. And the third way you could tell girls from boys is if you were to flip them on their backs, the boys have a concave plaster on, which is their bottom shell, and the females have a flat plaster on. I love their personalities. They're, they have a real gentleness to them. Um, they all have very individual personalities. Um, I, I just have so much respect for them. They, they can live to be over 150 years old, which I just find to be amazing. And they're, they're just big, gentle giants.